Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm back with another reading. This is a Scorpio reading, so it may resonate with those of you who's got Scorpio in your chart or you're dealing with someone who's got Scorpio in their chart. So thank you for being here. Big thank you to my returning subscribers. I really love and appreciate you guys. Thank you for your support, your continued support. I really hope that you guys are good and doing well during this time. So yes, let's jump into this reading, you guys. I've laid out the cards and uh, we can jump straight in here. Looks like we've got a situation where it looks like someone's coming towards you. We've got a Knight of Swords, Chariot, Six of Pentacles. I'm getting that someone is coming towards you. Someone wants to get something off their chest. Yeah, to outline the reading, we have got these messages here. Past life relationship. It says you have known each other before. We have flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. And children. It says your love life is being affected by children. So. This looks like a situation you got with someone, you know, from your past. Or someone that you have a past life relationship. Like you know each other before. Uh, I feel like, yeah, this is someone that's got a strong attraction for you. I mean, this is someone coming in hot and heavy, I feel. They want to get something off their chest. It looks like they want to balance things out. Six of Pentacles here, but it's in reverse. So, something's off about this situation. Let's, let's clarify these cards. Get some more insight here. Okay, Nine of Swords. I've got the Tower. Okay, so this is a situation where you, you may have broke things off with this person. But, um, they're still holding on. Yeah, further clarified with the Five of Swords. We've got the World in reverse. And Ace of Cups. Okay, yeah, this person's still holding on. For some of you, this this could be a situation uh, that lacks closure with the world in reverse. I feel like this is someone that may feel like there's unfinished business between you and them. It's like, whoever this is, they're not accepting the fact that it's over. <laughs> the tower's in reverse, so this is someone clearly still holding on they're not accepting the fact that things are over between you and them this is what i'm getting with the world in reverse tower in reverse this person's still holding on we've got the ace of cups here i mean it looks like there's still a lot of love here in this situation yeah whoever this is they still got strong feelings for you they don't want it to be over. There's conflict here, Five of Swords. So, yeah, I really feel like, you know, you broke things off with this person. You and this person's not on the same page. Five of Swords with Ten of Cups in reverse. This is why Six of Pentacles is in reverse. Look, this person can't sleep. Oh, my gosh. This is, this is heavy. Oh, my gosh. You and this person are not on the same page. Yeah, they don't want things to be over, so they're coming back, they're coming in, they want to come in here, come towards you, and give it a go. I don't know, because I, I feel like this person, <laughs> they don't want to believe that it's over. Maybe they're coming in to get some clarity here, because maybe they're confused. They want to know for sure this is someone that wants closure or something. This is what I'm getting. There's someone coming in here that wants closure. Maybe they're confused about something. I don't feel like you and this person talk. Five of Swords. So, there may be misunderstanding here in the situation. Because of the miscommunication or poor communication. You and this person don't talk. And if you do talk, you just argue, I don't know. The communication is really bad here in this situation. 
yeah i feel for some of you i mean this person may have treated you badly with the five of swords here i feel like this is someone that, that's in a lot of regrets as well with a nine of swords something's keeping this person up at night maybe they maybe they treated you badly for some of you this is someone that regrets how they treated you it keeps them up at night Yeah, I, I mean, they want to come in here and get something off their chest. They want to express their feelings, I'm getting, with this Ace of Cups. I don't know, this Ten of Cups in reverse. For some of you, this is someone, they may have children with someone else. And this is this is what's affecting the situation between you and them. Yeah, because this message here, it says your love life is being affected by children. So with the Ten of Cups here in reverse, maybe this is what's creating the conflict. This is someone that's uh, got children with someone else. This is what I'm getting. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, I'm getting for some of you, this is someone that could actually be in a relationship with someone else that they've got children with. Yeah, but if that is the case, then they're clearly not happy in that relationship. But the Ten of Cups in reverse, they're not happy in, in that relationship. I mean, it looks like they're leaving. This is someone that wants a new beginning with the Ace of Cups here. Someone wants a new beginning here. Maybe they stayed in this relationship because of children. This is what I'm getting as well. Like someone stayed in a relationship because of children. Maybe they felt obligated to stay in a relationship, you know, for the sake of children and things like that. But it was costing them their happiness, you know. Ten of Cups in reverse. This is someone that's miserable. This is a miserable relationship here. Yeah. It's a broken family. It's a broken home. I mean, yeah. It's not a healthy situation anyway. This is what I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah, they're taking action. Let's see what what's going on here. Dig a bit deeper. Yeah, we've got the hermit, the hangman. Wow, yeah, they really feel isolated from you, the ace of wands. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a lot of attraction here. There's a lot of attraction for you. Ace of cups and now ace of wands. A lot of love and attraction. In this situation here with this person, they can't stop thinking about you. They feel trapped with a hangman here. They feel trapped. I feel like this is someone, you know, that got trapped with a baby or something. They feel trapped in a situation that they don't want to be in. I'm telling you, if this is someone that's possibly in a relationship with someone else and they're not happy with, but because they got children, you know, they're just in it for the children, but they're miserable. They feel stuck. They got trapped. Yeah. This is someone that wants something new. They want new energy now. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. This is someone that wants new energy. Yeah. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so this is someone that feels out in the cold with you. So, um, yeah, they want to they wanna turn things around here. Page of Cups, I'm telling you, you're going to hear from this person. They may want to come in and apologise here. Because I really feel like, for some of you, this is someone that feels bad. They regret how they treated you. you, you may, they may want to apologise. Try and make an amends here. This is someone that doesn't want to let you go.
Yeah, it looks like they're going to make an effort. Yeah, we've got the Hierophant here. Taurus energy. For some of you, this person actually wants to marry you. <laughs> if they are married to someone else, I feel like it's a situation where, you know, they now feel they married the wrong person. This is how they feel. This is how someone feels, like they married the wrong person here. They might want to come and marry you. This is commitment at me here, you know, Hierophant energy. This is what I'm getting. We've got the strength card. Could be dealing with a Leo. This is someone plucking up the courage I'm getting. They are plucking up the courage here. We've got the moon. The moon in reverse. So they're going to reveal a secret. This is what I'm getting. This is what I'm picking up. Like This is someone coming to get something off their chest. So there's a secret. There's something that they were keeping from you. Keeping hidden. And they're going to come in here and get it off their chest. There's a secret. They're going to tell you something here. They're going to tell you the truth about something. For some of you, I'm, I'm picking up, it could be the fact that they're, you know, deeply and madly in love with you. <laughs> this is someone that was hiding their true feelings. I'm getting. Yeah, I'm getting that strongly. This is definitely someone that was hiding their true feelings. Ace of Cups here. They're trying to pluck up the courage here to express how they truly feel. So, yeah, I'm getting this is someone that's nervous about this. They've got a lot of anxiety here. This is why they can't sleep. It's a big deal for this person. They can't sleep. About yeah, it keeps them up. They've got a lot of anxiety about this. So maybe this is something they've never done before. Especially with you. I don't know, because I feel like this is someone that has to, you know, really tell you what's really been going on. This is what I'm getting, and they know it as well. I feel like for some of you, you may not even like what you, you, you're going to hear with this Five of Swords. Maybe an argument here. This may cause an argument. You may not even like what you're going to hear. This is why this person is worried. I don't know. This is what I'm getting with the Five of Swords here. Something. <laughs> this is a situation where you're going to find out something here. Something that was being, has been kept hidden from you. It may, it may be upsetting. I don't know. Five of Swords. It may be upsetting, but it will clear up a lot of um, unresolved issues I'm getting. But it's like this person feels like they have to do this. This is why this situation, you know, is unfinished. This is why they feel like this situation is unfinished with you. This, whatever, whatever you guys have got going on, I mean, they feel like it's not over, you know. There's still unfinished business, you know, because I feel like for some of you, this is what it is. This is, this is someone that's yet to tell you how they truly feel here. They yet to tell you what's been going on or something. <sighs> yeah, it looks it looks it looks like a deep situation. We've got ten of ten of wands. This person's juggling nine of cups. <sighs> yeah, this is someone they're very disappointed here. 
and the outcome of this situation. Doesn't look like they played their cards right. I mean, for some of you, this is someone that feels trapped now, you know, because they're in a situation with someone they've got children with and, you know, it looks like it's a burden for them. I feel... Yeah. This person definitely feels like they're with the wrong person. This is what I'm getting. And they really cannot let go of you. This is what I'm getting here. Yeah, this is someone still holding on. They don't want to lose you. This is someone that's scared to lose you. This is what I'm really getting here. Because this is a big deal for this person. With the strength here and, you know... The moon and everything. This is a big deal for this person. For them to make this move here. Because I'm telling you, the amount of stress and anxiety is causing this person. It, it's something I feel like they haven't done before. Something they never wanted to do. For some of you, this is someone that didn't even want to do this. Didn't want to have to make this move here. For some of you. But it's like, they feel like... Their hand is being forced at this point because you're probably serious about moving on. You know, with the tower and this reading, I feel like you really broke things off here. Five of Swords, I mean, yeah, you could be in this chariot energy. This is what I'm getting. You're moving on. This is what I'm getting. You could be actually be serious, and this person feels like if they don't make this move here and tell you the truth about something here then, yeah, it's possible this person will lose you forever or something. Because for some of you, I feel like you're the single one in this situation. Especially if you're single, this person, they know that you're out here single and you're free to go and be with someone. You possibly have met someone <laughs> that's also single and available, you know, that can give you the loving relationship that you deserve. Someone that's available to take you seriously, you know? And then, if that's the case, this person knows that you won't look back. I mean, this is it. You're moving forward here. So, I feel like they're going to... This is like a desperate attempt or something. I feel. It's desperate times now. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. This is what I'm getting. It's, it's like, this person's desperate. So they're pulling out all the stops here. They're going to make this move here and come and do something that they haven't done. Which is be honest about something here, I feel. This is, this is something. For some of you, this person wants to admit to something that they may have been lying about. This is what I'm getting. For some of you, you may have called this person out on their lies or their cheating or whatever it is you call this person. They lied about it. So something they lied about could be children, the fact that they had children with someone else, a child with someone else. It's something they lied about. Yeah. So I feel for some of you, I mean, whatever it is, whatever deception it is, you know, they want to admit, they want to admit to it now. They want to come in and, and say that you was right. They want to apologise. You was right. They want to admit to the truth. Something that they were trying to keep hidden. There's something about the situation between you and this person that they wanted to keep. And this is what created the conflict between you and this person. The secret. This is why there was conflict in this situation between you and this person. If this is someone that was being deceptive here, you know, for malicious reasons. Yeah, but it's just, it's costing them now. It's costing them because now they're losing you, you know. They took it too far for some of you. This is why this person can't sleep, but I feel like they know for some of you that they took it too far. There's a lot of regrets here, how they treated you. This is what I'm getting. Is this a stressful situation for this person? 
Because for some of you, you know, it's it's more than likely, it's, it's highly likely that you may not even, you know, you may actually be done for good. And you're moving on, for real, for real. It's highly likely, like, it might be too little too late for this person, I don't know. But they're going to give it a go. Anyway, I feel like it's, it's desperate times now. And they're going to, yeah, come in here and give it a go. I'm hearing beg for your forgiveness. Oh, wow. It's desperate. Wow, this person's desperate to hold on to you. Wow. I'm hearing the tables have turned. I'm hearing the tables have turned in this situation for you guys. Wow. So I'll give you the angel answers for the divine guidance in this situation here. Let's see what messages we have here. Right. Improving health, trust, ask for help from others, communicate clearly. Wow, okay. So, uh, improving health. Yeah, so for those of you who, if your health was off during this time, then yeah, that's improving. Your health is improving. I mean, yeah. If not, then if that's not the case, then for some of you, you're out here making healthy choices, you know, for yourself. So that's good. But yeah, it looks like someone's health is improving. During this time, we've got trust as well. So it's all about trusting the process. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, it looks like uh, the universe has your back here. Yeah, angels have got your back 100%. Trust the process here. For some of you, you are trusting the process. You're remaining calm and balanced during this time. Yeah, but I feel like this is someone that wants you to trust them. Yeah, maybe this is someone, you know, that you clearly don't trust. <laughs> you know, they're a liar. They're clearly a liar. This moon energy, I mean, yeah, this is someone that's clearly a liar. They did break the trust, so. Yeah, this is a situation where the trust has got to be worked on in this situation for it to be successful here. But yeah, I feel like this person wants you to give them a chance. This is why they want to uh, tell you the truth here. They want you. They want you. They want. They're trying to earn your trust. I think this is what I'm getting. Yeah. Ask for help from others. So this is for some of you. This is someone getting help from others. This is a time. Yeah, this is a time where you know if you need help. With anything this is a time to ask for help from others someone needs to ask for help or someone is getting help during this time yes yeah someone's seeking help here or someone needs to seek help yeah for some of you this person needs your help I'm getting that this person may actually need your help because it looks like they're desperate here. Eh? Desperate times. Desperate times goes for desperate measures. They may need your help here. Eh? They... Yeah, you're going to find out something here. Eh? Yeah. Communicate clearly. Yeah, I'm telling you. You're going to find out something here. Eh? What's going on with this person? What's really going on? This is someone that might actually need your help. They want you to hear them out. This is what I'm getting. This is what I picked out. Like, this is someone coming in to get something off their chest. They want you to hear them out. They want to open up about something here. Yeah, communicate clearly. So you got uh, some truth coming in towards you. You know, something that was kept from you. Something that was kept hidden is going to be revealed. 
Yeah, you got someone coming in here to reveal something here. So communicate clearly on this communication. I feel like this, you know, the situation can be resolved. Any unresolved issues in this situation with this person, it looks like it can be resolved. Trust. Yeah, trust the process. So good luck with this situation, you guys. That is the messages for this reading. I'll leave it here for now. So thanks for watching. I hope it helps. I hope it gave you insight and clarity during this time. So uh, please like, share and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate all your support, you guys. Also, keep check of your subscriptions as well. Because, uh, quick side note, um, I've been brought to my awareness that uh, my subscriptions has been tampered with uh, um, people are just getting mysteriously unsubscribed from my channel it's crazy people's coming to me and, and looking for my channels like where's your channel i have to be sending people the link to my channel to resubscribe and stuff it's crazy what's going on on this platform i don't know if it's youtube or what's going on in this platform here but my subscriptions are being tampered with. A lot of people are being unsubscribed mysteriously. So keep checking of your subscriptions, you guys. Make sure you stay connected here. Uh, you know, click the notification bell as well so you can get alerted when I post, things like that. But yeah, remain connected. I thank you so much for all your support, you guys. So I hope you join me in the next video. I'll be back again real soon. So I'm sending you all love and light. Bye for now.